and welcome to City 2016 Annual Meeting and Associated Programs. Let's talk to some of our delegates about what their overall impression is of CC 2016. This is a great conference, uh, a lot of uh, really excellent uh, science that gets presented, uh, primary research uh, that's new, exciting, uh, and that combines with uh, what's actively going on in the translational space and uh, in clinical research space also. So really a full amalgam of different, uh, different uh, activities that are being done that's uh, very cutting edge. Um, so just hearing all the amazing things that are going on and the new things that are coming up and what people are looking forward to, it's a lot and I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. We can meet a lot of great scientists and we can learn a lot of things. So I've never been to a SITSI conference and so this is a up and coming area in oncology and so I thought it'd be nice to look at uh, uh, this kind of data and, and look at immunotherapy a little bit closer. I've known Sitsi for a number of years, the folks that, who lead Sitsi, and they're an amazingly collaborative group of people who are passionate about accelerating the field of cancer immunotherapy. Uh, so far I've been really great. I have learned already a lot and met some nice people, so it's like a familiar atmosphere. And even though there are really lo a lot of great people, like really famous ones, you can still go and talk to them. I'm meeting so many friends here, it's so interesting and uh, the field is exploding so it's about content but also about uh, meeting people that I know for a long time. I enjoy the, the conference so much because it's very interesting and I get the chance to meet many people that work in the same field. Definitely for us as a company it's important to be in touch with all the people that try to bring uh, research in, in the oncology area forward, so this is the place to be. It was quite interesting to see the field growing by attending the CITSI meeting. Early on it was just a few hundreds of people, now it's just huge, it's very exciting. We asked our delegates how far we've come in the clinical use of immunotherapy. I think we have made tremendous progress in the last um, 10 years. I think I expect in the next five years we'll see more rapid progress because a lot, a lot of people get very excited about there's money available uh, to, to make progress in the field. So I'm very optimistic. Um, it's great. I think cities play a key role um, in accelerating drug development, uh, given the increased size of the audience and uh, uh, big companies' participation as well as small companies. I think I expect um, it will play a key role. It has been playing Kiro and continue to play Kiro in the future. I think the understanding is growing, but we still lack uh, some, uh, some more fundamental insights. If you see uh, some immunotherapies applied in the clinical practice, there they have response rates with 20%, 10%, pretty low. So 80% of the patients do not benefit, and we do not really understand w why they don't benefit from the therapy. And what's the underlying reason, so there is a lot of science to do and I think that's a pretty good conference here to address these issues. In 2011 the first immunotherapy for melanoma was approved in the modern era and that was ipilimumab. We have come so far since then with the approvals of the anti-PD-1 checkpoint drugs, pembrolizumab and nivolumab, and the ability to use those agents in combination um, with other treatments is just phenomenal. Patients are living longer and longer, and none of this would happen without the wonderful researchers here. It's light years from where it was when I started, um, when we used to just try to get people um, a few extra weeks or months and being miserable during that time, and now we're talking about curing people with cancer. I am a clinical nurse specialist at Sloan Kettering up in New York, and we have known that we're uh, there's been a paradigm shift really in cancer therapy and cancer care and it's because of the the advances in immunotherapy since the since the genome research so um, it's very pertinent to what I do um, and the research that's done there. Here we asked our delegates what their thoughts are on the society's contributions to the field of immunotherapy. Well, I think SITSI is at the forefront of pushing the field forward because 
It really does take a team effort to uh, get immunotherapy done. We really need to bring together the basic scientists, the clinicians, the industry experts, the government regulators, uh, patients and nurses, and this is one of the few places where all of those people come on a regular basis. And having all of that input and having all of that perspective, I think is what's made a big difference in getting the field uh, moving forward more quickly. It's so important that it's changing the way uh, oncology is managed by clinicians right now. So we're not having an impact only on the scientific side, but now it's a clinical reality. It's extremely exciting. It comes back to the science and uh, the presentations here. I mean, you've got a room full of, you know, I don't know how many hundreds of uh, people working in the field now hearing about the latest data. They all go back home and, and, and use what they've learned and, and apply it, uh, and it helps build for more progress in the future. Oh, the city meeting is an amazing uh, focus of, it's sort of like a lymph node, right? It's a gathering place where everybody knows to traffic, to talk about this field, um, to get the latest data. And what's interesting about CITSI, it's not just the clinical data, it's the basic science that's driving the next discoveries, the next drug targets that um, are going to enter into the clinic, uh, again, to uh, expand efficacy ultimately and sort of reach the cure word for as many patients as possible. What does City offer that you can't get anywhere else? Um, I think it's it, it's very positive, very well organized. Um, I really like the content of all the presentations I've been so far, and it's been been a really good learning um, time for me. It's probably the the world leading society for immunotherapy and immunotherapy related research. Um, and it's just a really great um, environment um, for young scientists to rise and get to know people. People are working in the field since a long time and now they understand all the small pieces that are now turning into the big picture and SITSI is helping us to understand the big picture. It brings together many, many different techniques from all over the field, the latest science in microscopy and immunohistochemistry and reagent development and together with the clinical application. So it, it's really a, really a forum for translation of science from the early bench towards the clinical practice. This is a great meeting covering all aspects of immunology and immunotherapy um, from uh, melanoma, the disease that I represent, to lung cancer, to pancreatic cancer. What um, is so powerful about this conference is the ability to learn from lessons in lots of different diseases. I think SITSI is one of the few places where the focus is on fact on immunotherapy and uh, we have all the experts, everybody coming together in a single location and I think it really does help to accelerate the field and that's something that you don't see at some of the other organizations or some of the other societies uh, in the field. And I think this is one of the few places where we really bridge the gap between the preclinical world and actually looking to patient outcomes. SITSI is a place where you can meet with the researchers, um, primary um, people who are doing the work, um, first level on the ground, and uh, focus on immunotherapy. It's not just part of a big conference, but this is the conference. What do you see for the future of cancer immunotherapy research? We have come a very long way and I was part of, the, of all the mistakes in the past and it's now so great to be part of the future successes so we learned a lot and SITSI was promoting and helping us to learn a lot. I think the future will be combination therapy. Um, we, we now realize that monotherapy will only um, get us that far, although it has induced really great responses. But learning what we can combine and what we should combine for which patient, I think will be the next step. Well, I think the future of cancer immunotherapy research is going to be to continue to understand the basic biology uh, behind the immunotherapy and to continue to push the combination therapies and really understand how it's working so we can identify predictive biomarkers and better select patients for each patient. I see that it's going to be curing cancer and extending to more and more different types of cancers. There's so many different ways now that we're learning to use the immune system and um, it changes the whole game for cancer treatment. I see lots of improvement for our patients. We are seeing response rates ever rising, maybe even up to 100%. I see great benefit for our patients and to have a, a very good quality of life and a very long life 
and we, are, we, we take the word cure in our mouth, so we're talking about cure. First of all, there's a lot of progress that's taken place. The future of immunotherapy and cancer research is just to keep pushing back the frontier to help more and more people to understand how to use the drugs we have better in combination and to find new ways, new immunotherapies that can treat those people who are not benefiting from the ones we have now. It's been a great event. We'll see you next year.